Hey guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the drive belt in this Lawn Boy self-propelled mower. By the way guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming in the future. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out these little screws holding in this plastic piece underneath. Now this is just a 3 8 inch ratchet or a 3 8 inch socket and you should be able to take off all of these bolts and you got five bolts holding on this one piece which is the bolt in the back and there's two bolts by the wheels as you can see and here we go we'll be able to slide that plastic piece out next thing you're gonna have to do is there's three of the same style bolts right off top and you'll take that same 3 8 inch drive ratchet and you'll take off those three bolts and once that's done, that little plastic piece will fall right out and you'll have full access to the drive belt, transmission, and no plastic pieces impeding your way. So you're going to want to take out the cable that pulls upon that transmission and you're going to want to take the cover off of that transmission. That transmission uses a number two square head, which you could attach to a screwdriver as you can see there, and that little um, attachment will allow you to take off the belt from the transmission. There's a belt guard by the blade which could be taken off with a 9 16 inch ratchet as you can see right here. This thing zips off very quickly and once this is off you're going to be able to slip this belt right off of this blade no problem as you can see right here. And there we go the belt's off. While I'm here I'm going to go take off this blade to sharpen it. For the new belt, I'm using a Gates True Flex 1310. Now this is a 31 inch belt and it fits this mower perfectly. Now as I tighten up this transmission cover, I want to just let you guys know that in the description will be a list of all the tools as well as a link to this product so you could find it for yourself and you could change this belt out very quickly. And by the way guys, please give us a like if this helped you. Now, as you can see, I'm tightening everything up. And up here on the handle, you'll see there's a little release for the cable. And that will allow you to get this spring onto the transmission very easily. And as you can see, I'm just going to show you that you want it kind of like about that tension when you tighten it back up. You don't want it to be too floppy like that nor do you want it to be very taut like this. When it's too taut like this, it just means the drive belt is engaged and you'll just constantly be going forward as soon as you turn on the mower. So once you get that the right tension, you're gonna tighten that back up and you're gonna get on to getting on this belt guard. Now I'm using the impact driver to tighten it up just because it's easier and it gets the job done a lot quicker. Now. The rest of the job is just placing back these plastic parts. As you see here, I'm tightening on this plastic part. And what's nice about this mower is most of these bolts that go into the plastic parts are the exact same bolts, which means you probably won't mix anything up, nor will you make a mistake and put the wrong bolt somewhere where it does need to be. Now once you get all of these bolts tightened up nice and good, they don't need to be too tight because obviously we're going at the plastic and you do not want to strip anything. We can get this new sharpened blade on here and test this thing out. And as you can see, now we have drive to the back wheels because now the belt does not slip. It's not ripped. It is ready to cut the lawn once again. Just a reminder guys, all the tools and parts will be listed in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and comment if this helped you and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thank you and have a great day.